Hello, my name is John Lee and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting and I have a true passion for preparing students for ASQ certification exams. However, today we're here to answer a question and that is, how much does a reliability engineer get paid? Uh, in other words, a CRE in the world of ASQ. So CRE certification, what I did is I went to the various uh, websites and found what they said from their databases was the average salary for a CRE. It's a very respectable career. Uh, if I was to start my career over, I really would go right into being a reliability engineer. Um, there's not enough. There's a high demand, low supply. It is a very, very difficult exam, I must admit, although I do have a great class for this. But uh, pay scale brings you in at 115000 PESA, 152,000, salary.com's at 118,000, and the ASQ survey brings you in at 96,600. So I took the average of all these, put me in at 120,000, $415. So, if you're a reliability engineer with the average years of experience, the average degree in the average industry, you could expect 120,000, 415 dollar salary, uh, which is really high. It's one of the highest paid ASQ certifications and uh, that's one reason I love the certification. And also they'll treat you with great respect if you get one of these reliability engineering jobs. That's been my experience and that's worth a lot also because they know these people are hard to come by. So yes, is it a hard exam? It most certainly is. But is it worth it? Financially it is really worth it. Maybe you're a quality engineer right now. Well, look at the quality engineering salary. I did a uh, lecture on that, too, if you want to listen to it. But going from CQE to CRE, whoa, what a difference it makes. Around thirty, forty thousand 40000 a year. So spend a couple thousand dollars to get your CRE. That's investing in yourself with a great return on investment. Anyway, I really love this certification. All right. Now, this is from... Uh, the ASQ salary survey. Now, if you're a quality professional and you don't participate in this survey, please do. Go to qualityprogress.com, go to contact us, send them an email, send them a message saying, hey, I want to be involved in the ASQ survey next year. This is for 2018, the one I'm going over here. And hopefully you're a member of ASQ. If not, hopefully you'll become one. If you do, you can go to qualityprogress.com and enter in as a member and you can get all kinds of information like this and there's even more on salary I'm just sharing you a part of the report here so please uh, do that and help us get this up notice reliability engineers we only have 48 participants we need to get that up and so that's not a lot of data but it gets us a start that was the low that was the high uh, standard deviation and there's the median salary for a CRE, 116000 And you can look up and down here, and the master black belt makes more, but other than that, they're pretty much the highest up there. So it's a great certification, a great career. Uh, Canadian, unfortunately, there was no one that participated in the survey that was a reliability engineer from Canada. So if you're a Canadian, you're a reliability engineer, please get involved so we can get some information on that. Now this is uh, the CRE based on degree. So we're going to look at uh, degree, how it impacts salary, time, how that impacts salary, and also what uh, industry you work in. So this is for degrees. So if you're a reliability safety engineer and you have a bachelor's degree, you're looking at 97,000. If you have a master's degree, you're looking at 123,000. So, those are some pretty good numbers there. Now, salary by tenure, time in same position. So this is if you became a reliability engineer, like out of college, and you stayed there your whole career. That's what we're talking about here. Uh, one through three years, you're at $115,000. Now, you do have to have some experience to take this exam, so it may be several years out of college before you can take it. Uh, three to six years, 117,000 approximately, and uh, six to ten years, 111,000, and ten to twenty years, you'll be up to 111,000. Wow, what a great career it is, isn't it? 
Now, this is salary by job title in years in quality. So maybe you started out as a quality technician, then you became a quality engineer, then you did a little quality auditing, then you became a reliability engineer. Uh, that's what it's talking about, various experiences. And see where we get to here. Notice uh, 10 or fewer years, 100,000, 101,000. 10 to 20 years, 114,000. More than 20 years, 127,000. So it's usually better to get various experiences as you work your way in there. To me, some of the greater experience you can get before becoming a reliability engineer is a quality engineer. And this is the different industries. Unfortunately, we didn't have enough data in these industries. No one participated from aerospace. There are a lot of reliability engineers in aerospace, so come on guys, get involved in the survey. Chemical industry, same way, we need more people to get involved in that one. Now, the computers and electronics industries, we only had four people participate, but the median salary was $124,277. Wow, that's very respectable. Defense industry, Let's see what they did. Whoa, 131,000. They were the highest industry in the survey. So if you're a new person right out of school wondering, oh, where am I going to make the most money? According to this survey, there, there it is. Electrical products, there we go, at 93,000. Uh, there's in the machinery industry, 98,000. So uh, very respectable salaries here for a reliability engineer. All right, thank you for joining me in this video. As you can see, I have collected many ASQ certifications, most of them, not all, uh, including the CRE, which was one of my favorites. Uh, but I've been preparing students for 20 years to pass ASQ certification exams. I've been, it's been 20 years of continuous process improvement. So I hope if you need a prep class, you'll consider me and my company. There's my contact information. Thank you for joining me, and have a great day. Goodbye.